Welcome to Sterling High School, and this is the TV studio. I'm joined by Mr. Sheehan. Today is Friday, May 15th, 2020. We're on about week nine of remote learning, but we got a great show for you today with lots of news coming to you, uh, especially for you seniors, so stick around for a lot of the updates for the seniors. But before that, Mr. Sheehan, how are you doing, sir? Hey, nine weeks in, man. We're holding strong, and uh, with the Memorial Day weekend and nice weather, uh, I think that's pretty... Uh, that's pretty inspiring and motivating that we're getting there. So uh, this is usually an exciting time in a school, a regular school setting, but we're trying to also get excited, you know, remote learning. How about the, you guys? The warm weather we're super looking forward to. And I'll tell you, it's, it's kind of hard to believe, but with remote learning in your home, we're looking forward to weekends, you know, with that routine. And then we can break from that routine and enjoy the outside. We're looking forward to it. Big question. When's the pool opening? Pool opens today. Oh, nice. <laughs> today, right after okay. this, sir. Okay, that's we'll great. on it. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, a lot of updates. We're going to start off with the academic update first. So uh, first, shout out to our AP students who uh, began this week their AP tests. And I want to make a special note to the AP history students and Coach Carpenter, who uh, made an awesome recording. If you did not get to see that, make sure you look that out. It'll be posted on Twitter. But good luck to all the AP uh, students as they are tackling those tests. Um, and then I want to continue on. As we talk about academics, reminder, late work, get your work in. Students, your communication is going to be key to the success that you're going to have right now. So we want to give all flexibility that we possibly can to you. So start getting that in if you have not done so. Connect with teachers, reach out, and, and then we're going to make every accommodation we possibly can during this time. You know, and I hope that the students have kind of seen that there's a little bit of scaling back so that kids can catch up, they can be successful. But we've said since our first video here, the academic responsibility part is to communicate and really these count towards 180 days. So we're still in school, it's just the venue has changed a little bit. So, you know, our message is stay strong, stay with it, continue to communicate. Great. There's some other updates about in the school. Yeah, so we're, we're continuing with our food, our IT. Um, and, you know, this week I think we had over 130 students visit, picked up seven days worth of food. They had a little bit different of a variety uh, of food offerings. Um, IT did a great job keeping students engaged and, and taking care of their uh, tablet issues. Um, again, ROTC is doing a, a phenomenal job with the food pantry. So on Tuesdays we have our food pickup 10 to 12. They're here at about 9 o'clock. And anybody wishing to donate food to our food pantry, um, they're really looking forward to um, uh, granola snacks, cereal, fruit cups and cans, Pop-Tarts, condiments, anything that anybody's willing to uh, contribute, they're, they're going to take that on and provide that for our students. So uh, thank you for the ROTC and the members of our community who've supported that. Um, you know, in addition, um, you know, we're going to be starting to ramp up a little bit as we get into closer to June here. And I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit, but I'll, I'll kick it back to, to Mr. Claiborne. I think people have noticed something. There's something different out front. And I think we have a teacher. Yeah, we have a great recognition from our staff. Uh, the, our Sterling Education Association is really trying to get involved and recognize that they miss you. But beyond that, um, Mrs. Billingsley has applied for an NJEA Pride Grant, which has provided a nice sum of money to uh, gather food. And so on Monday, they're going to be connecting with ROTC. They're going to be shopping for some food and creating some baskets that will go out to first, first responders, and that helps with our food bank. So the food bank's been tremendous here at Sterling. In Camden County, uh, there's not a lot that are out there that are known, so please spread the word on our Tuesday food bank that's going on. Go All right, activities. Oh, activities. So we're, we're jumping into some great activities here. As it's going to be an awesome week. So beginning next week, we're launching our virtual spirit week. Uh, Believe in you, our student government, uh, Mrs. Bukowski, Mrs. Johnson, they're rocking with some spirit week activities. So check out this um, graphic with some of the activities. On Monday, you got the morning commute. Tuesday, uh, I can't even pronounce it, but your best hiding spot. Wellness Wednesday, a talent show, and the floor is lava. It's going to be a good time. And there will be different points that you can earn based on how you post it. And uh, so be watching that. You need to follow the Believe in You and the Student Government Association Twitters. And then, of course, Mr. Sheehan and I will retweet those. So that begins Monday the 18th and carries through next week. And then we roll right after that into what's going to be the virtual party that we're going to have for our seniors. So we do want to recognize and announce that on Friday, May 29th, we will have a senior virtual party. We're really excited about this. This is in lieu to 
a prom. We can't do the normal prom, but we're excited about this virtual party. And there's going to be Believe in You activities that week leading up. We'll give you more information on that next week. But you can definitely save the date and market seniors the virtual party on May 29th. So that's some more. We got some more stuff for the seniors too, right? Yeah. So, you know, we're really excited. First off, we miss everybody. We miss the staff. So we've had the opportunity this week to see, to work with Mr. Barringer, Mr. Marlies, Mr. Manlove, uh, our maintenance crew in developing a schedule um, for our, our senior events. And um, it's not complete by any means, but it's starting to, we're starting to put some things down. So number one thing is cap and gown pickup will be on, Ju I think it's Tuesday, June 2nd from 12 to 2. Uh, more details will follow, but I think this is going to be a curbside pickup. We also are going to try to tie in on that uh, Tuesday, June 2nd, a senior locker clean out off of the science wing. All right, students can park around on the science wing. Uh, the solar project should be cleaned up by that point. So there's one thing that we're giving you right now is our, our cap and gown, which is going to, again, you know, kickstart us into our graduation uh, uh, activities. So that's June 2nd. Following that, all right, on June 8th, 9th, and 10th, we're going to create a schedule that allows students and their parents to come up, work the, their way through some stations. You know, it could be a yearbook station, a tablet drop-off station, a couple of photo ops, but ultimately it's going to be a, a graduation diploma station where um, the student and their parents, their parents are going to give the student their diploma, and that's going to be the picture that's going to be used for our virtual graduation. So this isn't a graduation ceremony, so to speak. It's an opportunity to participate in our graduation uh, virtual ceremony. So we'll get more information. We'll give you, you know, the specific dates and times. But right now, June 8th, 9th, and 10th, and I believe it's going to be from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So if anybody has any schedules, we're going to try to get this out as early as we can so you can make adjustments to your schedule so that you have the opportunity to participate in this special ceremony with your, with your student. You know, and this way they're included in that. Um, and then on June 11th will be the graduation speeches. When we put our graduation package together, we want it to follow the same format as a traditional graduation ceremony. So, you know, uh, student class officers um, will, will have a participation there. Uh, president, valedict valedictorian, salutatorian the same procedures are going to be in place. So we will be contacting you with a schedule for speeches. Um, you know, and then finally, we always talked about it from day one here. We're, we're going to maintain that date of Thursday, June 18th for our graduation program at 6.30 at night. There may be a pre-video with senior activities and pictures and videos and stuff like that, but at 6.30 on the nose on the 18th is when we start our graduation ceremony. So uh, we're, we're going to start ramping up some activities here and putting that program together, and we're really excited about it. And like I said, to have teachers like you know, your senior uh, advisors you know, getting ready, it's, it's just uh, they're getting excited about the prospects and it's growing every day. So uh, there are some dates, but again, more details to follow. But the big part there, this is for the parents as well, not families, but just the parents that can give that diploma and, and take part in that participation. Yeah, I just want to highlight two things that you said. Number one is that we have tons of staff that are super excited about making these plans. It's going to be a great opportunity, this, this senior experience, this station's experience when we record them receiving their diploma by their parents. Uh, it's going to be emotional, so we want you to set those dates aside. Make sure you're ready. You're going to get more information, but you know that's coming, and it's going to make for a great ceremony for the class of 2020. Right, and you know, one of the things with still receiving information from the county and from the state, they've distributed to every school in the state guidelines to virtual graduations, you know, and I know that people are still offering suggestions on what works in other states. They may have different social distancing and gathering protocols that they have to follow. So while we do all these things, we are going to require, you know, masks, except for the pictures, you can take them off. But when you visit Sterling High School, we have to require social distancing uh, protocols and we have to require face masks. So, you know, um, What's good for one state may not necessarily apply to, to, to uh, Sterling High School. Along with the guidelines, they've given us restrictions. Now, I did see they started loosening some things up, but I'm still going to ask everybody be responsible. Okay, we're doing a great job with this. The weather gets nice. You get a few restrictions you know, lifted. Uh, we want to make sure people are, are, are practicing safe habits. Class of 2020 is going to be unique, but be involved. Look to be ready. Be eager to be involved. P participate in the Spirit Week next week. you got your senior party the following out on the 29th. And then this recording that we do with these senior stations is going to be tremendous. So uh, with that, I want to say I wish you a, a wonderful weekend. Hopefully you can enjoy the weather. And as always, stay sterling strong for me. And you know what? I was surprised. I thought you were going to say stop over and enjoy the pool. <laughs> but we'll drive by. We'll do yeah, a, 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 we'll a drive-by hunk right. and we'll check out the pool. Um, you know, we kind of stole everything I had there. Recap. Great stuff that are, is coming up with between the Spirit Week, the Senior Party, 
the cap and gown dates and graduation uh, participation dates we just shared, but also please check our website out. You know, all the information that we talk about here, we end up posting on our website. We send out weekly emails. In addition, you know, um, special information about working papers. Uh, the state is lessened um, you know, decrease the requirements to get working papers. You can download them from our website. I think if you do the first two columns, I think you're good to go to work at that point and, and give them to your employer. So we're trying to eliminate, or the state's trying to eliminate the visit to Sterling High School to pick up your working papers and get that process going. So there are opportunities out there. Um, we're, we're encouraging people, go for it, you know, and, uh, but don't let us hold you up. Get those working papers off the website. So as usual, make good decisions, care about yourself, care about others. Um, you know, on behalf of Sterling High School, be safe, be well, stay sterling strong.